channel Baking and Buttercream. Today we're making no bakes. So let's take a break. And not bake? I'm so excited to be making these no bakes because they're just chocolate and oats mixed together to create a wonderful cookie. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and comment down below on another treat you want me to make. It can be something I bake or something I no bake. Okay. Seriously though, comment down below on another treat you want me to make. Or if you have challenge video ideas, comment those down below as well. While you're typing a sweet treat or a challenge video idea, you might as well see if you're subscribed. If not, click the red icon to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Now let's make these no bakes. The ingredients you need are three cups of quick cookie notes, two cups of white sugar, a half a cup of margarine, a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of chunky peanut butter, a fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Add your pinch of salt to the peanut butter. The first step to making these delicious snow bakes is putting a medium sized saucepan on the stove at medium heat. In that pot, you're gonna add your sugar, cocoa powder, milk, and margarine. Stirring occasionally, you're gonna bring this mixture to a boil. Once this mixture has boiled for about a minute, take it off the heat and add your peanut butter, salt, vanilla, and mix very well, and add your oats. Now that our no-bake mixture is all complete and mixed very well to where all the oats are coated in chocolate, it's time to start putting them on parchment paper. Using a cookie scoop, you're gonna dip into the oats and chocolate mixture and put it onto the parchment paper. I put the no-bakes onto the parchment paper, so now we're gonna leave these to set for one hour. I still got a little bit of the mixture in my bowl, and in past videos, whenever we make cookies and we have leftover dough, we make one monster cookie. Now these are no different than from other cookies, so let's make one monster no-bake. Sadly, we have to wait an hour for these to set up, but I have a little baking magic. So, and they're ready to eat. So now it's time for the taste test. These are so good. They're actually one of my favorite desserts, and they're so easy to make. You taste the chocolate, you taste the oats, and everything goes together so well. I'm so glad I was able to make it for you guys, and I'm gonna have another bite. Man, these are delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video on baking and buttercream. I'm so glad I was able to make these no-bake cookies. If you enjoyed this video, watch some other videos that I make. If you enjoyed this video, like it down below. Share it with all your friends that enjoy delicious treats. And if you have an idea for a future video, comment it down below. And while you're down there, you might as well check out the description box. I have social media links to both my Facebook and Instagram, so go follow Baking and Buttercream there. And if you want anything I used in this video, go to my Baking and Buttercream store. There's also a link down in the description. And if you just want to learn a little bit more about Baking and Buttercream, there's also a link to my website. You can do so much stuff on my website, so just check it out. All right, guys, click one of these two videos right here. YouTube really thinks you'll enjoy this one. I think you'll like this one. And click over here on the Baking and Buttercream logo to subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, have a great day.